hello i have four last minute halloween party costumes for you that you can recreate all while maintaining your healthy curls hello this is april with the curl story and the first costume is princess leia and you might think that you'd have to straighten your hair for this but with the twists on these double buns you really don't need to with any curly hair texture that you have i just divided my hair in half put a ponytail on either side right behind the ear so that when you twist it'll cover up that ear and the trick here is to put another hair tie or hair band at the very ends of your hair and that'll help to keep the bun from unraveling because we're going to use that to help bobby pin it into place and keep it all secure and the trick to making the bun look bigger is to flatten it out once you have it into place. I'm going to wind it around and you can see that it looks kind of small, little donut shape. But I'm going to pull it apart just a little bit to make it wider and flatter to my head. And then look how I'm going to needle in these bobby pins. These are extra large bobby pins and yes I have my magnetic wristband on which I love it just helps to have the bobby pins right where I need them and so I'm really just trying to hook the hair that's underneath so that I can attach the bun securely to be able to keep it up all night long and I love these extra large ones because it just gives me a lot more coverage especially for these buns. The hardest part is trying to clip it right in front of the ear because we really have thin hair there so it might be hard uh, for some of us to be able to tuck some of that in. So use as many bobby pins as you need to to secure it into place and we'll just replicate that on the other side. So again I'm going to use two of the the very thin ponytail holders on this side as well and you can see I didn't make a part line in the back and if you'd like to you definitely can but I wanted to be able to refresh my curls for tomorrow so I didn't really want to separate any of those curl clumps right now <laughs> and see how it pops out right here in front of the ear so that's where I need to add some bobby pins right really close to the hairline and I'm going to put those horizontal or vertical whatever is needed to get a really good hold and here I'm just using a white blouse that I already had and I'm using a black belt from a dress that I had and of course some props from my kids and I'm ready to go to the party but of course I have a few more options to show you and this is a fun one this is perfect for big curly hair. I love, love, love this style. So I'm going to try to do a faux mullet here. So I'm just taking a triangle section on the top of my head here and I'm just going to use oop, one of these really tiny little claw clips to get it started. And then I'm going to use those large bobby pins again just because I have them but the standard size bobby pins would work just fine to be able to put both of the sides up like this to get that mullet rocks star look going so all of the bobby pins on either side are going to be vertical so they're going to be from about the ear line all the way up to the crown of your head so here I'm going to start near the crown to put my first bobby pin and then I'm just sort of layering them vertically down on either side to keep that hair in place and this could be a little tricky if your hair is heavier and tends to fall out of the bobby pins you could actually just place the bobby pins closer to the ear so you're not trying to hold so much hair back as I am here. See, I'm putting the bobby pins almost as close to the middle of the back of my head as I can, but I could just as well put them right behind my ear and then still be able to pull off this look. So definitely modify it for your hair type. And then for all of that middle mane of hair that you've created, I'm gonna show how to add just a few bobby pins horizontally. So here I'm just lifting up the crown and then tucking in a bobby pin horizontally just so I can fluff up that center part and really make it look like an 80s rock star but what I really needed to do was amp up my makeup even more here I put blue eyeshadow on the bright pink cheek but I should have added some extra glitter or a star on the side of my face 
<laughs> okay, let's go on to the super, super easy one, which is the evil witch costume. And I'm going to leave all my fluffy, messy, frizzy hair and hide it under this hat. And <laughs> I'm ready to go. This is the blouse that you've seen me wear before from Target. It's a gauze three-quarter sleeve blouse, which is super comfy. And it's such an easy outfit. Okay, but how about a little bit of glam for a masquerade ball look? Just don your favorite little black dress. And here's a trick to wearing a mask. So we're dealing with that string across the back. So what I'm going to do is separate the top half of my hair up exactly where that mask elastic is going to go. And I'm going to use that elastic as part of what I need for this updo. You will also need a couple of bobby pins and that same small elastic that we used um, earlier in the video. So here we go. We have the mask on. We have that elastic that's all the way across the back. I'm going to let the top down, of course, and you can leave your hair down if you'd love to for this look as well. And here, just to go along with the glamorous look of this masquerade ball and this sparkly mask, we're going to do a little bit of an updo. So I'm just going to put this ponytail holder at the very ends of my hair. That's going to keep this updo in place and I'm going to roll it up and then tuck it into the elastic first I have to find it <laughs> hiding underneath my hair right there but I'm just going to lift it up and then tuck this little rolled up bun then I'm going to bobby pin that roll into place and of course I have these face framing pieces that are growing out and they're not quite as long as the rest of my hair. So I'm going to separate those and I'm just going to hook them with a bobby pin. And then I'm just going to tuck them into that little roll up. I'm going to do that on either side and that's just a simple way to secure these end pieces. It's just trying to find them. Some of them are long enough, some are not. <laughs> They're a little bit all different lengths, but again, just hook the ends with the bobby pin and then just tuck it right into the updo. Then you have a super elegant, easy holiday look. That mask will stay on secure. Your hairstyle will stay secure. And with all of these costumes, your curly hair is maintained and protected all throughout the night. I hope you have a fun Halloween holiday. I'll see you next time.